In this video, we will cover the character functions. Basically, these character functions can further be classified into two parts that is the case manipulation and character manipulation. In case manipulation, you can convert the complete string into the uppercase or lowercase or init caps. In init caps, the first letter of each word will be in caps but the remaining will be in lowercase. And further, it is character manipulation in which you will find some function like for concatenating two strings, for finding the substring or something like that. So let's start implementing the case manipulation and character manipulation functions. So first of all, let's begin with the case manipulation functions in the character functions. So let's see what happens when I make a comparison using a varchar data type. So basically let's uh, use the existing column list all right and here let's say I want to get those employees whose uh, last names is uh, King all right so what I'll say is where last name is equal to King all right so when I'll say that a couple of employees will come but in the same statement if I will change the case of this value I will not get anything Alright, so basically the reason is when you compare a character string it is case sensitive though the SQL is not but when you compare a string value it will be case sensitive. Probably I don't know in which particular case a value is stored and maybe the same uh, last name can be stored in a different ways by different users. For example one is writing in full caps another one is in full small letters someone in this particular way. So if I want to get all the details at once so what I can do is I'll not be bothered much about like in which particular case uh, the value is stored but if I will use this lower that means I doesn't matter in which case the value is stored but now I converted everything in lower case and then I know like when to come when I'm comparing I'll pass the lowercase only because that is what I have used here. So doesn't matter you just use a lower function in order to convert the things in the lower case. You can con use these values in the either in the select list or in the where clause. For example if you want you can simply write upper first name which will convert things in the uppercase lower last name alright so you can see the upper is having all the things in uppercase the lower function is returning all the things in the lower case similarly we do have one more functions here one function here which is called the init cap so for that what you can do you can simply write the function name that is init cap and can enter anything like I'll enter Anadi Sharma alright from dual basically this is a fixed, st fixed string and uh, obviously I'm not uh, retrieving it from any particular table so for just uh, completing the syntax I will have to go for the from clause and here I need to specify a table name so dual is a dummy table which actually doesn't exist but anytime you want you can just use this particular name in order to complete the syntax so here you can see like init cap it's returning the first letter of each character each word in the uppercase and as we have already discussed earlier you can pass the aliasing in the, after the function uh, function you have used in the select clause so that the heading will be proper enough now after the case manipulation function let's discuss something more about the character functions now let's say I want to get the only those employee details where the length of the first name is 5 so for that what I'll do is I'll simply go for the uh, select then from and here I'll write where length which is a function for character inside which I'll pass a parameter passing the first name as a column name is equal to 5 alright so you will get 35 records and you can observe like the first name of 
all the records is having five characters all right so this is about the length method similarly you can go for some more methods like concat so for example here I want to concatenate a couple of strings since we can also use the concatenation operator that is the double pipe symbol but here Oracle also provides us a method called concat where you can strictly concatenate only two strings so what I'll do is I will just pass these two columns inside the concat function and when I will execute this let's remove the condition and uh, okay let's terminate with semicolon and here you can see the uppercase first name and the lowercase last name that's being concatenated so this is your concatenate function similarly we have the function for padding as well so here what I'll do is in this, this employees table I have the phone number field if I want to retrieve this particular detail for example I'll say select first name comma phone number from employees all right so you can observe these couple of uh, fields are out there but if I want I I can go for like I don't want to show the complete phone number rather I just want to show the first three digits of any phone number so for that what I can do is I will simply say sub str in the sub str function I will just pass the phone number alright and after that I will just take three characters alright means starting from 0th I will go for three characters so three is not the index but three is the number of uh, characters you want to get from the phone number so when you will execute you can see obviously I only get the three digits of the phone number now if you want you can show like okay this is not a complete number there is something after that also alright so for that I will again do the nesting using the lpad function uh, rather I should go for rpad that is right padding in the first parameter you can see the substring thing is there which will return me this value and after that I want to pass the character which I want to concatenate or which I want to pad after this so here I want to get uh, I want to pad asterisk symbol till seven I mean seven asterisk symbol after that alright so what I'll do is comma seven comma asterisk means the complete number of list so here I'll get the three characters then after seven asterisk I wanted so here I'll just close this bracket and in the output you can see like six five zero then four asterisk alright so in total it will make it seven now if you want like you can just make it ten so that uh, you can simply uh, get a complete number because usually the number would be of 10 digits so here you can show it like this so this is about the several methods of uh, character type that you can use with the character type values